knee hug, just like that. Go ahead and do it, you know, and get used to it. It, it, it helps you remember what I'm talking about if you do a few. So you'll do, I mean, like I said, it's 10 of those. The next one is walking deadlift. And all that is, is one leg is you reach forward and then the other leg. And do it nice and slow so you don't lose your balance. And you just, 10 of those, that's walking deadlift, okay? All right. The next one is toy soldier, and you're just reaching up um, to the opposite foot. You can just walk, keep your legs straight. This gets a nice stretch in your uh, hamstrings there. So that's toy soldier. Forward lunge, I'm sure you've all done a lunge. Just be careful when you're doing it. Don't step so far that you lose your balance, and you don't want your knee going way over your toe. That's, that's a way to get injured. So just forward line so you can step in between if you need to or go on to the next one and just keep doing them. And I think I had two to five each leg. So you can do like one, two, you know, four would be two, two each leg, right? Or count to 10 if you're gonna do five each leg. Then side lunge, and that's just very simply side lunge. And again, keep doing them. So that's one, two, three, four for two each leg. That's just side lunge. So just get a good stretch on that outside leg there. And backward lunge, just like it sounds, just foot behind you and bend down. And the other foot behind you. And these are just really good warm ups. So that's one more, uh, we have front and side leg swings. Normally you need something to hold on to to do these, okay, or it's gonna be hard. So Jan, can I hold on to you? Yeah. So just find a wall or anything and it's just swinging. Okay, so that's the forward leg swing. Do both legs. You know, it's really hard to do it just standing there. Hold on to something. And then the side leg swing is just what it says, side and make sure you get both legs holding on to something, all right? And the next one is body weight squat, just like it says, and you know, you all know, you act like you're sitting in a chair, right? So keep your feet nice and pointing forward. You can do whatever you want with your hands. They can go down, up, you know, out forward. It's just a squat. So, and of course, go down as far as you can Further is better. If you can go down further, if not, just work on it. But don't lean forward like that. Look up ahead of you as you do it. So your butt is back behind you. You don't want to be doing that. You stay forward, keep your bottom behind you. Okay, the next one is what we need to sit for. I'm starting on warm up number two, groiners. That's this one. This is really good for your hips. It's just back and forth. So that'd be one, two, three, four, and like that. That's a groiner. The rest of these are, most of them are on the ground. The donkey kick looks just like it sounds. On all fours, get one leg up and kick. It's a really good one for runners, okay? Make sure you get both legs, donkey kick. All right, uh, Iron Cross, this is one a lot of people don't know. This is really good. Lay on your back, arms out, and try and touch your toe. I mean, your toe to your hand. That's Iron Cross, kind of like it sounds. And then the Scorpion is the opposite. Your belly. <laughs> this way. It, this is called mobility work. Really good for you. Good for warming up too. Then the back lying hamstring raises. All that is is lie on your back and lift your leg. And you'd be surprised how that stretches your hamstring. Right there. Back lying hamstring raise. Uh, again, body weight squats and leg swings, which I already demonstrated. Then for the strength workout, uh, the only thing I didn't show is plank. 
plank you've all probably seen a plank before but for this you can either do it on your elbows try and keep your body nice and straight or do it on your hands you know whatever you want to do there and then the side plank which a lot of people don't do but you should okay strictly what well, you can do it like this or, you know put your hand wherever you want or you can do them like that whatever works for you okay and then do the other side the same the glute bridge on your back push up squeeze your butt just for the time allotted just up and down squeezing it trying to get a nice straight line from your knees to your shoulders bird dog looks just like it sounds all fours you want to raise one leg and one and the opposite arm and you just alternate for the duration of the uh, exercise like that that's for a dog okay on to strength workout two the curtsy lunge it's just kind of like it sounds like you're doing a curtsy hmm. one leg goes behind you y'all ought to all try this one a little harder. Okay, so. Leg behind you. That's really good for strengthening job, those hips. Thank you. All right? So just bend that back leg. Curtsy lunge. Push ups. You know, everybody knows what a push up is. Just make sure if if you can't do them like this, which that's fine if you're going to do it on your knees, just don't do it like that. That doesn't do you any good. If you're going to do them, on your knees, you need a straight line from your knee to your shoulder so it looks more like that when you're doing it, okay? If that's too hard, rather than do this, which doesn't do you anything, do it on a wall. You can start on a wall if you need to until you get strong enough to do it like this and then eventually go to that. Uh, back lunge with knee up the only difference between a regular lunge is you come back Ooh, I lose my balance back up back up as you can see it takes a little bit of balance you got to work on it so the other <laughs> and then do your other side back up back up so that's back with knee up um, we did donkey kicks hurdle knee overs that's really simple you know you think of a hurdle like sometimes they have them up over here going over it it's just like that go over the hurdle so you just go back and forth like that hurdle knee overs okay make sure you do both legs again that's opening up those legs which you don't do when you run good thing to do hurdle knee overs superman just like it sounds just come out there and hold it as uh, Superman hold I think that's uh, where you're holding it for 45 seconds for that workout and then bird dog already showed you bicycle I think you probably most of you done this before it's just you know elbow to knee bicycle and full body setups this is my favorite it's just like it sounds. You stretch out full body, go all the way down to your toes, and all the way back. Okay? Involves your whole body. Okay? All right, so those are all the exercises. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to jump down to the IT band routine. Bent knee side step shuffle. I forgot to bring my band. If any of you have bands, you know, they're very inexpensive. You can do these with or without, but if you do them with the band, like for the bent knee shuffle, you put the band around your ankles, you just bend down, and you walk like that, okay? A little harder if you have a band around your ankles. You don't have to use the band, but that's good. So it's bent knee shuffle. That's all that is. Um, side leg raises, again, on your side, you'd have the band around your ankles, just like that raising with your ankles. Clamshells, you'd move the band up to right here. 
that looks just like a clam. You do that. It's a clam shell. Then hip thrust. This is one of the harder ones. Like that. And you alternate each leg, one leg at a time. Um, front line leg raise up and out. Uh, actually, front line. Lie on your front. It's just you lift your leg up and out. Up and out. That's actually harder than it looks, okay? That's all that is. Up and out. And again, you can do that one with the band too. And then donkey kick, we already showed you. And then stretches. Everybody can do a little bit of this. I'm a real big proponent of you don't stretch and hold it before you work out. That's a way to actually injure yourself. So if you're going to stretch, you do it after you're all warm and your body's, you know, gone through all its range of motion so you don't get hurt. So the first one, uh, hamstring step out with calf stretch. So you just basically step out. And the first one to get your hamstring, the front leg is straight, then this knee is bent, and you just strictly bend over and try and <coughs> keep your knee straight. And that, you should feel it in your hamstring. And then you switch positions, put your weight on the front foot, bend that knee, and now you can feel the back knee. I should be side so you can see. So you can feel the, the uh, calf in the back by pushing your heel to the ground. And try and keep both feet facing forward. Again, we're not going to hold it very long because that we haven't done a workout yet. Downward dog. It's a yoga pose for anybody who's done yoga. You just simply start out in push-up position and you push back and you try and push your shoulder blades back like you're putting them in your pocket and your heels to the ground. And some of you might not be able to hold that very long at first, but you want to work out. That actually is a back stretch, stretches your back out. Um, sitting back twist. This is where you sit. You put one knee over the other, your elbow on the outside of that same knee, and you push with the elbow and you turn, and that's a real good back stretch. And then you do the opposite. This elbow or knee over your other knee, elbow and stretch um, lying quad stretch is just lying on your back lifting your leg and just pulling try and straighten your knee as much as you can until you feel the stretch in your quad and then that one and Ankle over knee, glute stretch on back. All right, so ankle over knee, and you pull up, and that stretches your glutes. Same thing on the other side, ankle over knee, glute stretch. Do you feel it? And then everybody's favorite to finish is child's pose. You just quickly relax like that. All right, you can quit filming. I know that was a lot. Sorry, it was